For today's tutorial, I will be using Lion Brand's Kobu yarn in mauve and pale pink. It is a lightweight 3 yarn and I will be using a 3mm hook. To begin, create a magic circle and chain up 2. 1, 2. This is not a double crochet, it is simply to bring up the yarn. Now inside the magic circle, you will be placing 10 double crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now you can go ahead and pull your tail but not too tightly and you will be joining to the very first stitch of the round so you will slip stitch into this very first chain right here or the third chain from the bottom. So there's one, two, and this is the third. Go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch. From here, chain up two, one, two. Now this chain two will count as a double crochet. And in this round, we will be increasing in every stitch. So that means into that very same stitch that you just slip stitched into, you will be placing one double crochet. And now there are two double crochets in that chain. In the next stitch, you're going to increase again by placing two double crochets into the same stitch. There's one and two. Into the next stitch, increase again by placing two double crochets. And you are going to repeat this pattern until the end of the row, and I will show you how to join to the beginning. So now I have finished placing two double crochets in each stitch and if you count, you should have 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So to complete this row, we are going to slip stitch into the second chain from the bottom since we counted that chain two as a double crochet. But because we are going to be switching colors for the next round, we're going to complete that slip stitch with the next color. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my hook into that second chain, but I will not complete the slip stitch. Instead, I'm going to take my other color. I'm going to make a slip knot at the very end of it. Just a regular slip knot. And I'm going to put my hook through that slip knot. And I am going to complete the slip stitch with the new color. So my hook is already in that second chain from the bottom here. I'm going to grab my new color with the slip knot. And I'm going to pull through the second chain and pull through that last stitch. So now I have switch to my new color. To start the next row, I'm going to chain two, one, two. This will bring up the yarn and I am going to chain one more for a chain space. So that's a three chain rise. And in that very same stitch that I slip stitched into that second chain, I am going to be placing a double crochet. So that means in that chain we have a chain two, a chain one for a chain space, and then a double crochet. 
From here I'm going to chain one. I'm going to skip this next stitch. I'm going to skip the next stitch and into the second stitch I am going to place a double crochet. Chain one and in that same stitch place another double crochet. You're going to chain one again, skip the next stitch, and in the next stitch place a double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet in that same stitch. Chain one, skip the next, and a double crochet into the second stitch. Chain one, and a double crochet in the same stitch again. You're going to continue to repeat this pattern and then I will show you how to join to the beginning. I have completed the last double crochet of the round and you want to count and make sure that you have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So to join to the end, after you complete that last double crochet, of course you want to chain 1 and you're going to find this chain space right here between the chain two space and the first double crochet and you're going to just slip stitch into that chain space. Now you want to cut the color of your first yarn because you're done with that and you won't be using it anymore and you can feel free to knot it with your working yarn or your second color. And I'm just going to do a little double knot. And then you can weave that in afterwards or you can just cut it pretty close to the base. All right, to begin the next row, you're going to chain two again. One, two, and this will count as a double crochet. So in that same chain space, you will be placing another double crochet, chain one, and two more double crochets into that same chain space. That's one, and two. Now you're going to chain one, and into the next chain space between the two double crochets from the previous round, you're going to be placing two double crochets. One, two, chain one, and two double crochets in the same chain space again. One, two, chain one, and again in this chain space you'll be placing two double crochets. One, two, chain one and two double crochets again and you will be repeating this pattern until you get to the end and I will show you how to join. Now that you've completed the two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets in the chain spaces, you should have something that looks like this. Now to to join it to the beginning, you're going to find the ch second chain, so that's one, and there's the second one, and you are going to slip stitch into that second chain. Now we need to get to the middle of this design, so that means we need to get to this chain one space here. Since we're only on the very first stitch, we're going to have to slip stitch until we get there. So go ahead and insert your hook into the next chain and slip stitch. And go ahead and slip stitch into that chain one space. And now you're in the middle of that design. Go ahead and chain two, one, two. This will be a double crochet chain. So inside that same chain space, place two more double crochets. It's one and two. You're going to chain one. 
and in that same chain space you're going to place three more double crochets one two and three so in the previous row we did two double crochets chain one two double crochets and in this row we'll be doing three double crochets chain one three double crochets now to get to the next chain space you're going to chain one and you're going to go ahead and place three double crochets in that chain space one two three you're going to chain one and place three more double crochets in that same chain space one two and three from here chain one and repeat into the next chain space so you're going to be placing three double crochets two three chain one and three more in the same chain space and you're going to continue to repeat this pattern until the end of the row and then i will meet you back here to show you how to join it Now that you have completed your final design right here, of course, go ahead and chain one. And then you are going to slip stitch to the beginning of this round by chaining or by slip stitching into the second chain from the beginning. So you have one, two. So you're going to insert your hook into that second chain and just slip stitch. So to begin the next row, we need to be in the middle of the design again. So in this chain one space right here. So that means we're going to slip stitch until we get there. So after slip stitching to join to the beginning, you're going to find the next stitch and you are going to slip stitch into that. Find the next stitch and slip stitch into that. And then the next slip stitch you make will be the chain space that we need to be in. So now we're in the chain space. You can go ahead and chain three. One. I'm sorry. Now that you're in the chain space, go ahead and chain two. One, two. And in this chain space, we are going to be placing a total of ten double crochets. So that chain two is your first one. So you're gonna be placing an additional nine double crochets in that chain space. So that's already one. So you have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And because it is such a tight fit, it will naturally curve up at the bot at the top right there to make a nice little petal shape. So to start the next one, go ahead and chain one. And you're going to find the chain one space at the top of the design. And again, you'll be placing a total of 10 double crochets in that space. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine and ten chain one and you are going to continue placing ten double crochets on top of each design until the end of the row and i'll meet you back to show you how to join it after you've completed your final ten double crochets here to join it to the beginning of the round you're going to chain one to separate it. 
you're going to find the second stitch from the bottom so that's one two and you are going to slip stitch into that second chain from the bottom and that completes your flower so this is what your coaster should be looking like now now to create the colors that come down into the middle of the flower that separate each petal you are going to go back to the first color that you used and you're going to make a basic slip knot just so it doesn't slip out later and just place a slip knot just like that and then you're going to find any chain space between the petals so it can be this one this one or this one it's up to you I'm just gonna go right here I'm gonna stick my hook into that chain space I'm gonna grab the yarn that I prepared and I'm gonna bring it through like this and now I'm going to chain two one two we will be moving down this design towards the center so that means we are going to be slip stitching into each of the chain spaces until we get there. So right now we slip stitch into the very last chain space of the last row. We're going to slip stitch here, here, here until we get to the base or the center. So after chaining two, I'm going to turn my work just like this so I can find this next chain space right here. And I'm going to slip stitch into that. So that's what that looks like. You're going to keep going with that same pattern. You're going to chain two again. One, two. You're going to find the next chain space, which is right here. And you are going to slip stitch into that. Remember, you are moving down towards the center. And now we're going to slip stitch down here. So again, chain two. one two find that chain space and slip stitch into it chain two again one two and now you've finished all the chain spaces to slip stitch into and now you're coming up on the very center of the flower and you're going to slip stitch into this stitch right here so from the bottom just like that you are going to slip stitch and that's what that looks like so far now that we've finished going all the way down we're going to start coming back up so that we can create the edging along the petals of the double crochet so that means I am going to repeat everything I did coming down but this time going back up so if I'm looking at my work this way I'm going to turn it over this way so I can move from right to left and to begin I'm going to start with a slip stitch in that same space or same chain that I'm in now so I'm going to insert my hook again insert it and just place a slip stitch okay Again, we're repeating everything we did coming down, going back up. So that means I am going to chain two, one, two, and I'm going to find that first chain space right here, and I'm going to slip stitch into that. Again, chain two, one, two, find the next chain space and slip stitch into that chain two again one two and find the last chain space or the next chain space right here and slip stitch into that chain two one two and 
slip stitch into the very last chain space where we started coming down. So now this edging looks like this along two petals and we're going to continue going up and down and up and down. So after slip stitching into the very last chain space here, we're going to go into each of the 10 double crochets and we're going to place one single crochet each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to slip stitch into this chain space and we're going to repeat what we did here coming down here. So after slip stitching, you want to turn your work a little bit, chain two, into this first chain space right here, you are going to slip stitch. Chain two again, one, two, find the next chain space, which is right here, and you're going to slip stitch into that. chain two again, one, two, find the next chain space which is right here and slip stitch into that. Chain two and now you've reached the center so you're going to see this stitch right here and you're going to slip stitch into that. When you get to that center you're going to turn your work to make it easier to come back up. To start coming back up, you're going to enter into the same stitch that you're in already and place a new slip stitch. Now go up each of the 10 chain, uh, each of the chain spaces up to the 10 petals. So after slip stitching, chain two, slip stitch into that first chain space. Chain two, one, two, slip stitch into the next chain space, chain two, one, two, slip stitch into the next chain space, chain two, and slip stitch into that final chain space. Now you've come back up and now you have one whole petal that's bordered. So after slip stitching into the chain space, you're going to place a single crochet along each of the 10 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now slip stitch into the chain space and Again, you're going to repeat the steps by chaining two, slip stitching, chaining two, slip stitching, chaining two, slip stitching into each of the chain spaces till you get to the base. And then you're going to slip stitch into the base. And then you're going to slip stitch again to come back up. Chain two, slip stitch, chain two, slip stitch, chain two, slip stitch, chain two, slip stitch, and then a single crochet in each of the 10 petals. And you're going to continue repeating that until you finish this row. And then I'll meet you back here to show you how to close. Now that you've gone around and created the edging on all, of, all the petals, you're left here at the end of your 10 double crochet design. So to finish off this row, you are just going to slip stitch into the chains going down here. So just find this first one right here, like that, and just slip stitch into it. 
you can chain one and cut your yarn and that is your flower crochet.